Okay, we should be live. I'll just wait a little bit. Okay, we're live. Okay, this is a cool game. It's called Empires of the Undergrowth. It's an ant colony simulation. I used to love playing Sim Ant. That was way back in the 90s, though. So I think I'm just going to start off with... Do the tutorial. You know, it teaches you the basics. It's nice and simple. And I did part of the story mode. But I'm going to start over with it. So we'll start a new game. I'm going to go with blue. I think there are blue ants, but they're very rare. Can't remember. But the blue ants look pretty cool. So, oh. And we're going <laughs> to, our colony name is going to be Dur Ants. I've got the perfect last name for this game. Almost, almost perfect. Okay, so that looks good. So the game starts off, you know, pretty easy. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Hey, right and runs. Incredible, really, that we <laughs> You're the such first. a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe their reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. So we just gotta I just right click here, make it or um, left click, and we can just build this food source. They are beginning to expand their territory. Excellent news. And then just get like a, a food source over here or a food stockpile. This is like our home base and we're going to go off and do missions, but we'll come back here. And I think we do like upgrades and stuff. So, there's a build menu. Eventually we'll go to the surface as well. So I'm just going to quickly build... I don't know if I can build much. But we can just go here for our level selection. And we'll start at 1.1, 1.2 and work our way up. And we'll get rewards for finishing those levels. And then we can do things like adaptations. There's all sorts of different different ants you can do, like red ants, carpenter ants, black ants, leaf cutting ants, and there's really cool insects that will fight. So I'm just gonna skip ahead. And we'll do a new home. And I'm actually gonna start off at medium difficulty. It's quite easy, but I'm sure it ramps up. I don't have that much experience playing the game. Uh, right and Ron says... This Formica Fusca queen has set up oh, home right. beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. Thanks, Brett, for hitting that like button. Right and Ron says, beware of the giant Durant eaters. Yep. <laughs> so, this stuff's safe where there's question marks. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. 
I think eventually, though, like, it looks safe, but there could be surprises. So these are our worker ants, and they basically stick around the nest where the queen is. Okay, so we'll just build a little nest for worker ants. And you click on the ant tab. These are the workers, and these are black ants. So I'm actually just going to get a few, a few more workers. Right, and Ryan says, okay, Joel, now I have to call you Durant, man. <laughs> Lovingly, of course. I've always actually, I've always loved ants. They're a really cool insect. So I'll get those done. Then we'll also need some black ants. Oh no, did I just mess that up? No, <laughs> I almost messed it up. I should have did black ants because they're our soldiers. And when they kill things, they'll they'll bring back food as well. Oh yeah, no, there's plenty of food. I just have to build a stockpile for it. So I might actually just start here a little bit. And then place down a food storage tile. And my black ants will actually go right there. So the ants are still gathering food from larvae and stuff. I've got 41 out of 80 that I can store. So I think that's all I have. So hopefully, this is kind of dangerous. Because I could unlock a tunnel or something. So I'll put the black ants. It's the black ants. I'll put them in this category. This is for your pheromones. So basically, you can control them this way. So I'll tell them to go over here. And they'll gather these like little maggot things. I forget what they were called. Uh, woodworms. So they'll bring the food back to the storage area. I'm gonna build a few more because there's some some danger down there. I think once we get, I think six is probably good. Yeah, they're not finding anything there. That might be something. I think there's food right there. Yeah, I don't think there's a pause button for this game. I looked in the key bindings, I didn't see anything. That kind of adds a little bit more difficulty with it. It's more realism too. So I can build a few more of these black ants. And the game wants you to sort of build stuff together. Then you can actually like go and upgrade the quality of the eggs. And you get stronger, stronger ants from it is pretty cool. Okay, so our next place to go to is going to be right there. So I'm going to get my soldier ants. Let's go there. My worker ants will come in, dig this open. 
There we go. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. Everything costs food to build. So I'm expanding the food storage. I'm gonna get some more black ants too. So we've got eight. That's pretty good. So I think I'll just continue down here. And this is like, I think, bark of a tree. So you can't dig there. Oh, okay. Oops. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. When your ants die, new eggs will hatch to fill your maximum. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They okay. must expand with caution. That was easy. I played a little bit further though, and there's different types of spiders and stuff. You get stronger beetles. It it's really cool. But the game eases you into that. It's like this level will be very easy. Yeah, so this is like the upgrade tool right here. It allows you to upgrade a tile, increase in its performance, or improve an ant spawned on it. The upgrade cost matches the original placement cost. So I guess it like just like how it works is like you need six tiles around this one to upgrade it. And it costs 50 food, the same it costs to plants to uh, place a basic uh, soldier ant tile and as you upgrade them you can you know it'll show the requirements like it needs I think another one and another six or it needs six more upgraded before you can upgrade this okay so let's just get out here now I'm just gonna come up this way and get my soldier ants to go there the worker ants will fight, but they're not as good. So just go through there. We got Predators it. are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. See, the workers are fighting. But here comes the soldiers. That was easy. We're just going to keep building black ants. This also likes a speed tile, which is kind of like ant roads. So let's kind of build to where the nest is. It's five food to make one of those. I think they're done with that. So we're just gonna come up here. And go for these guys. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Hold another nest. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. And these are like those uh, potato bugs, or whatever you call them. I think I think they're wood lice. I 
I didn't say this time. But they take a while to to harvest, I think. These guys are chewing on them. Okay, we're getting lots of food. Get our army built up. Get this nest to look bigger. Okay, there's tons of food up here. Oh yeah, here they are. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. I think we got some food here. Yeah. At least they don't attack. Going to upgrade some of these. I don't know if there's a visual effect, like the more you upgrade it. We've got 16, so that's great. Let's send them over here, clear out this, these guys, these wood lice. We'll get tons of food. This is really easy, but like, I think it's the next one where we're going with like uh, bundle spiders or something. It's crazy. Okay, get that food. We're going to build a big army. We're just going to plow right through this level. So we're done down here. We're just gonna keep going. Just waiting for the worker ants to show up. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah, the game starts with the health belt, the health bars turned off, but I kind of like to see how each one's doing. So are they harvesting that? Yeah, one guy is, looks like. Try upgrading. Here comes our workers. Predators are loose in the nest. The There's larvae like must be protected.
Predators are loose in the nest. Oh, there's a lot the of them. The larvae must be protected. My guys are pretty tough, though. Yeah, please hit the like button, guys. So I'm just gonna kinda... I'm not sure how much the upgrades do, so I'll just try to build more. I think 20 is a good number. Probably get some more. The worker ants. It's just 20 food. Let's get a couple of those as well. A few of them. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new oh, brood. Here we go. the roads going up here so they can travel faster. Our queen. Yeah, so when an ant dies, they carry one of these eggs over to the corresponding nest. So if a lot of ants started dying quickly, you'd run out of replacements pretty fast. I'm not sure how long it takes for her to replace one of these. Okay, our food is full. Let's do some upgrades. Man, we go with those upgrades are expensive. So I'm just gonna come up this way. This one's gonna be really tough. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Dude, let's get that food. Let's upgrade. We need more power. Stronger ants. Yeah, I imagine it increases their speed as well. Okay, bring that food back. Yeah, and you can upgrade the the food storage as well. It, it'll hold more more food. So it's like five food to place a food storage tile, and it's just five food to upgrade it. So it's like it's, it's really awesome because it significantly increases your storage for just a little bit of investment. It's definitely worth uh, upgrading. It doesn't matter how high the level is; it's just whatever the initial food tile, the tile cost. That's the price. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's get into here.
I mean, it's getting a lot. Those wood worms. Yeah, so this is an early access title. I think it's only like it was it's twenty dollars Canadian at the at Steam. So it, it's a really good price. Okay, that's cleared out. Let's do some fighting. Well, wow, 410 food, man. I'm just gonna keep upgrading these guys. There are intruders in the nest. I'm not even worried about these guys. I can get up here. Yeah, our guys are fine. Need more soldiers. Okay, let's get these guys. Yeah, our ants are like super soldiers now. There are intruders in the nest. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. There will be. This is the last area. It's cool this game too, you can go to the surface. Cause like if you're playing the leaf cutter ants, that's where you get your food. And I just saw a video on it, it looked really awesome. And you can see other other bugs up there, they're fighting each other. Just really cool the way they designed this. Okay, just a few more stuff. Those ones, and then we're gonna go for the big guys. Let's get these upgraded. Okay, here we go. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae oh, must one. be protected. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. Wasn't even a challenge. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Okay, let's finish these guys off. I'm gonna get both entrances open. There are intruders in the nest. We 
we've lost a lot. Seven left. Oh no, did I... Oh, I must have messed up. I don't know if we lost it. I think it's so... Here we go. Just two left. Pull these guys over here. We're so easy. Last time I had like, I didn't even have this, I had 20 ants and I beat it. The queen is in imminent danger. Oh my goodness, we lost the... Yeah, we have to restart that. That's a shame. There's no auto save either. The queen is in imminent danger. It's crazy. Well, we'll just try the second The queen level. has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her un- I think we just skip to the second level. Yeah, that's good. So we're not really... We're not going to play that again. Okay, so this we didn't get any Fusca like- This black ant queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers established their new territory in the earth, above ground, a nearby colony of Formica sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would-be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the black ant colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, they may be wiped out entirely. Okay, so there's a bunch of food here, like different beans. So... Formica sanguinea are not the only danger for the fledgling colony. There, there is something even more sinister nearby, lurking in the darkness. So I'm gonna do my food right here. It looks like a, a way to go up to the surface. I'll just start placing my food there. Let's see if I can upgrade it. This level is going to be way more challenging. And <laughs> especially after losing the, the easy one. So we have to be extra careful. So, just expand our food supply. So we can upgrade it. Yep. So 250 is pretty good. And I think I like to put my nest back here. Get some black ants produced. JC says it happens. Yeah. Oh, I was so overconfident too. Because this colony I... must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. So we'll get this food. So this is build, upgrade. The workers and soldiers. So 
I think I'll put the soldiers, the the workers in here. Just don't want to break open a tunnel. I can get one more. Yeah, the food really is scarce. Nice. Let's get our soldiers there. So this is like a dead end. Just gonna hollow it out then. So it says to upgrade them. I need to get one there. Okay, we'll go through here now. There's a question mark. Oh, Suggestory whoa, of Florentina, a funnel web spider. She is large, fast, and equipped with a deep, powerful bite. Her lair is carpeted by sheets of silk woven between tripwires that radiate out from the entrance. She can detect even the slightest vibrations with her sensitive legs. Any ant that strays too close will be snapped away in the blink of an eye. So let's see if we can get up here. It's a little bit damaged, but I think there we need are intruders a lot more. in the nest. Man, that's oh, is that that's an that's another one. So we have to totally avoid this area. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Oh, she's almost dead, so... But it costs food to replace our ants. And again, stuck on the web, too. By working together, the ants have overwhelmed one of the funnel web spiders. She won't be causing any more trouble for the colony. Her sisters, however, still present a problem. Okay, that, yeah, we probably wasted so many resources, so I'm going to try to avoid this one. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. A sanguineous scout oh, no. has sensed the presence of the black ants. A raid on the colony is now inevitable. The question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young, or wipe out the colony entirely. In the end, it will come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. Wow, this is a really challenging level. But we're doing okay. So I kind of keep my guys out here. Gather up a bit. So we got almost six. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Spin that one up there. Okay, this one's almost done for. There we go. There are intruders in the nest. Oh, again? At every level? So we'll just get these guys first.
Look how much food we get from that. Upgrade my soldiers. This one now. The raiding party has arrived. The slave makers will head straight for the brood chambers. They must be stopped. Oh, wow. So they'll steal my ants and make them slaves. Well, they're, oh, they're, they're going to kill my ants and take the eggs. The raiding party is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the black ant brood. The Fusca oh. colony must replenish quickly if they are to survive the next assault. So I guess the we could make some guards that'll be like right here or something. Wow, that's crazy. I'm going to go for wipe out this one. Get all this food there. Doesn't look like food. Looks like little stones. Oh yeah, well, we got this. No problem. How do you uh, divide these guys? I wonder what this stuff is. So it must be food. Just gonna cancel that. Get these guys right there. Upgrade our guys. Upgrade the workers as well. Because the workers definitely stay by the queen. Let's get that done. And get our guys over here. We're going to need two more. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. The ants must protect the queen. Oh, they're destroying, it looks like, the nest. Oh, they're attacking now? Well, they didn't get anything that time. The raiding party is left. And with them, they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. Oh, they got something. The danger may be gone for now, but this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. I wonder if I can sign them from here. Yeah, they've got to make it easier how to uh, divide these guys. So let's see if we can get through here and hopefully there's no spider. Good amount of food. Let's 
upgrade these guys. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. The raiding party is left, and with 10%. them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant brood. The Queen must lay quickly to return the colony to its former strength. I'm just gonna check the options quickly and go to the key bindings. So toggle group together. Hmm. I just don't see how I can divide these guys. And I could make some of them just stay here. Hmm. Well, they could stay here and I'll send my workers over there. I can't do that. So I can send my workers there to harvest that. My soldiers will stay here. Yeah, they'll do that. Okay, so that's okay. My soldiers are designed for fighting anyways. So I'm just going to get smart workers. Oh, there's going to be a nest down there. Should be okay. There are intruders in the nest. Take this guy out. It's not too far away. Those guys to go there. These guys will go there. Oh, here they come, too. The Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe. Oh, nice. For now. Get a couple more. And then my workers will go down there, get that food. I wonder if I got their ants as food as well. I think I I think they do. And you got no food out of that raid, unbelievable. Oh there's no well, I should be able to get the dead ants. Hopefully that happened. So where can I... I'll try this. There are intruders in the nest. Are these guys attacking? No, it's those. 
Have to bring over the big guys. There's a red button right there, so that's that's really useful. We're still harvesting that. Okay, let's let's see what happens now. The Sanguinea colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. Come on, get them. Yeah, I think they failed. So cleared out. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. And clear out that spider quickly. Yes, yeah, so wasn't pay attention to the raid notification. So that'll help out a ton now. We got spider there almost dead. Wow, so close. Bye to you. Oh, they're getting all the food. So can I upgrade more? Right there. Get more of these guys. She, once she grabs one of them, her attack is so powerful. You need to like swarm her. I think I did nothing. Here, we'll swarm her. Stone for There we go. And they'll get the food. Those guys will get that food. Gotta bring my soldiers back. I'm gonna get my workers back too. The Sanguinea colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. We're not doing so well this time. Oh, maybe we are. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. Okay, we'll get these guys upgraded. Again, I want to take out this guy. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Yeah, JC says it, it looked like they just faded away. Yeah, you really should get food from them. If that if they're just fading away, that's not really a good thing. Because normally I think ants will just, you know, if it kills off an ant, it'll, it'll eat it. It'll bring it back to the nest. So go down through here. There are intruders in the nest. Oh, that's a 
pretty big run. Oh, we got it quickly. I'll get those workers to get that food. Battle has begun. Oh, I gotta get back here. God, I, I messed that one up. The slave makers are back. They can sense larvae, and they want their share. Oh, they got some. Oh, this guy a tiny bit, I think, like like one of them. The raiding party is left, and with them they have taken ten percent of the black ant brood. It is only a matter of time before they return. Just get that stuff too and make some roads. It'll come down here next. There's tons of food there. The ants must fight. Okay, that's done. Get my soldiers to clear that out. Oh, there, I couldn't re I thought I could access that. I guess I can't. There we go. There is no respite from the culling. Oh, the sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. Ah, I wasn't prepared. You really gotta pay attention. Oh, that's horrible. They built like a little wall to stop me. They're attacking the queen too. I think she'll be fine. The queen is in imminent danger. Yeah, she'll be fine. So I really just gotta keep him there because I just can't have the focus. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 50% of the black ant brood. The danger may be gone for now, but this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. Yeah, we're almost finished this level.
Okay, the raid's coming. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Okay. All hands on deck. Okay, here comes the troops. It'd be nice if there's like a, a sound or something flashing. This is, there this is isn't... no respite from the culling. Here the sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. Okay, we're doing okay so far. There's one that's getting away. The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. The Queen must lay quickly to return the colony to its former strength. Take out this. Get my workers down there. And we'll take out this one. Oops. We'll go there. I think that's all. This is build, upgrade one worker. Survive the final wave. That's kind of scary. So my workers are going to stay right around the queen. Get my soldiers right up here. Food. Here they come. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Well, this is much better. Just having them closer up here. Some got away. Once again, the slave makers return to their nest with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually, they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great black ant empire. Okay, so you can choose your rewards. So food is used to create new tiles, upgrade existing tiles and hatch pupae into adult ants. So we know about food. What's the territory? Territory allows you to mark areas for excavation in your formicarium. One tile can be marked for each point of territory. Jelly is used to acquire new species of ants or upgrades from those species. Do this from the adaptations menu. In the top left of the formicarium. So I'm going to go for like the extra royal jelly. Yeah, this game is tougher than I thought. My my first when I was testing How it out. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. So 
What's it say here? So there's a like an arrow up here, and we can go and just dig that out. And now it's unlocked another map. It's like we're inside in a uh, form of carrying like a an aquarium for an, for ant colony. And I don't see any food up here. Oh, there it is. Because it's, it's kind of just a random. So we'll go back, click on the map. And where's our food storage going to be? I don't think we've built one yet. But it's just the main base that we keep coming back to. So I'm going to build like a bunch of food here. Food storage. Place for worker ants. begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. So these guys just protect the queen area. But I got... I should have one ant coming down here for food. I think it just hatched. Yeah, there we go. But they're just feeding the ant, I guess. Nope. We're getting some food. So this is the worker ant. takes a while for them to grow. They're growing right now. Here we go. We got two. And then we'll get food faster and then we'll go to the top and get that food. I'm not sure what the what the point of this place other than just upgrading your your ants and stuff. But let's go up here and now we can tell the worker ants to come up here and look at that stuff. A gene thief worker. Do various jobs, including excavation construction. I'm just going to save the world jelly up. I'd like to do wood ants. So it looks like it caught. That's why I have 75. It's 150. So I'll do another mission and see how much royal jelly I can get. So all my ants are coming up here to get the, the beans. Those look like coffee beans. Yep, there's my blue ants. Uh, JC says, this part of the game seems more freestyle. Yeah. I guess you, every mission you do, I guess it's going to unlock what happens next. So let's just go to the next mission. So this is a gateway mission.
Okay, you click on it right here. Test the mud of your formicarium colony. Will it survive whatever the scientists have planned? So I guess I should kind of work on this colony for a second. Because <laughs> I don't know if it's going to test me based on what I have here. And that's not great. I'll just do some... Well, all I can do here, though, is like worker ants. But let me just get more worker ants built, at least. Oops. Okay, that's good. Let's try the second mission. It will do medium difficulty. Well, we only get uh, oh, 82 royal jelly, so that's good. I think it is time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Let's begin with a small threat. Connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let 10 through to start with. So what's happening? There's the enemies. So we should be okay. Get that I built all of those extra workers. I can't upgrade them yet. I think we have the... F no, maybe not. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Only ten. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop this. So I, I can easily redo this. I didn't lose too much time. What <laughs> is going on? What happened to the queen? The ants were. So we just have to build more workers. Oh, wait, don't have enough territory points. So, everything we do to dig is territory points. I see. Man, this game is more challenging than I thought. So we can't upgrade and we can't build anything better than these guys. So I guess I can unlock it here. What's the enhancement? So it's the melee attack and gains speed at level three. Gene Thief Queen. Okay, so I acquire the species. So that's probably worth it. But now I can build them, okay. So that's what I had to do. 
Now that I have soldiers, I can do the next level. Okay, so that's great. The Raptor workers have raised the first Formicofusca ant. Finally, we have the opportunity to observe multiple species within the same colony. So let's get my food storage built up. Yeah, so we'll defeat that next level, no problem. Well, unless there's additional waves. So they're bringing back the food. We probably want at least, at least 10 soldier ants. So that's the territory right there. We have zero tiles. Okay, so that's that's quite interesting. I guess once you get used to the game, you want to figure out how you're going to design it, where your tunnels are going to be and stuff. And we'll have multiple species. So I guess that's why we start off with the like a gene thief queen. I think that's one. I can't upgrade these. Okay. Thirteen is pretty good. I'm just gonna get some more food. And when they, I didn't realize they were attacking, so a lot of my guys up here got picked off. Hey Douglas, welcome to the stream. We're playing an ant colony sim. It's a lot more challenging than I than I realized. Okay, so let's go to the next level and we'll try that again. It's gonna bring everyone back here. I'll put my soldier ants on pheromone too. And let's try it out. Do medium. See, if you do like a harder difficulty, you get better rewards. It's not that much more royal jelly though. So we'll do medium. I think it is time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Let's begin with a small threat. Connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let 10 through to start with. So where do they come through? Oh, they come through here. Yeah, we got those. <laughs> Famous last words. I want these guys up there, actually. Okay. The Raptors identified the threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Let's see how they handle a few more, shall we? Introducing 20 Formicofusca ants. <laughs> There's just more waves. So <laughs> I don't really have the space for more.
It looks like we'll get it. Our eruptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Let's try Continue 40. the experiment and let me know the results. Don't add more than 30 ants at once, though. We don't want to harm the queen. Understood. 30. Hmm, I wonder how they will react to a rival Oreptor colony. Introducing 40 rival Oreptor oh, 40. Ants. Oh, they're down this way. Pretty tough. Excellent. Let's try eighty. Introducing a further fifty rival Fifty. food to keep reproducing so I guess we're doing okay fascinating <laughs> let's try 100 now let's try 60 raptor ants the rewards should be much higher for this one yeah I know I eh? like Kind of a mean scientist. Uh, you know, the front line is breaking down, but I think we got lots of them, so. Superb response. Let's try 1000. Seeds have been dropped in the surface. You're doing admirably, my Reptis. Perhaps a small reward. Look to the surface. <laughs> he's, a, he's a mad scientist. That's all I get. Hmm, what about. A combination of a raptor and a fusca. Let's start with 20. Whoa, of each. whoa, whoa. I didn't think to be attacking straight away. So, if our front line breaks down, it's really challenging. They can just gain up on it. fewer ants while the rest get replenished. I guess we're doing okay. I mean, we're not doing great. There's three, two soldiers left. Food is draining very fast.
Okay, we should have them. Please be the last wave, An though. Unconventional defense, yet highly effective. It's interesting to see the colony fight on two fronts. Perhaps we should try 30 of each. Uh, I don't have time to get food. No way, I don't have the food to fight this. Douglas asked, what's the objective that you gotta do? Well, you progress to the story and you can unlock more and more ants, like leaf cutters, fire ants. Uh, you come across all different sorts of insects. There's like a surface map. If like, if you're a leaf cutter in, uh, ant, you go to the surface and stuff, cut leaves. You just come across just cool insects. And then you can upgrade, like, with your genes. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Yeah, please stop it. They should give you a reward for how many waves you survive. There's also... What is going on? What happened to the queen? The ants were weak and confused. We should start again with a healthier colony. Very well. Purge the formicarium. Oh no. So he's the mad scientist. Yeah, you do these like, uh, we're doing like a, the story. And every time you do a map, you unlock rewards so you can like, you can build further and in, further into your colony. You get more royal jelly for upgrades or food. And I think the missions are all replayable. So. So yeah, you can just like, you go up here, you, you can replay these, I think. But I have to finish this one in order to get to number two. Okay, so there's quite a few. Or you can just play like custom maps, like freestyle play and stuff. So I guess the food will drop on the surface. But I'll do this one and we'll get 20 more. We can mine out 20 more tiles and I can build a lot more of those uh, soldier ants. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food and there is plenty around, but there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Put my uh, food stockpile here. Hopefully, I don't break through to those guys.
I'll get my workers down here. Put the workers in this tile and we'll go get this food. This gotta hatch first. Now I'm enjoying playing this game. It's an early access title. So there's I'm not sure how much longer until we finish the game, but they seem to add a lot of updates. I think it's been on early access for a few years. Okay, we got that. I like to upgrade this, the food stockpiles. So we can get that. It's only five food to upgrade, and it gives you more space. Plus, I have room for some tiles, too. Last time I was overconfident, and I lost this level, Douglas. And we'll get our guys to go here. So, I'm gonna put my. My uh, black ants. I'm going here. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. So we can get one more. going to build out here. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. I'm going to get all hands on deck. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipasolens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. Yeah, JC, if the I think... ants are disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Yeah, JC, I think it's good to farm the missions so you can build up your main base. Like, after we do this mission, I think I might be able to, you know, get the other, beat the other uh, mission. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah, there... There's a lot of bean-shaped things in this game. There are intruders in the nest.
Look at these guys now. There are intruders in the nest. Is that so bad? They've unlocked a lot of food. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. That's not so bad. I'll get my soldiers over here just to kill these guys. my black ants. I keep thinking of, of soldiers because they're so much bigger. I can build some more ants. Man, I had like 28 black ants last time and I lost. Had them upgraded a lot too. So there are 22. I'm gonna just maybe focus up more so on upgrading this time. So get everyone harvest in there. There are intruders in the nest. Okay, so this area is all cleared out. I think maybe we'll do this section next. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Skin everyone in there. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Okay, we're doing okay. Who always says something? Can I build up here?
Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh man, they're chewing right through my guys. Workers can finish that off now. Get those grubs. And my soldiers can get that stuff. So I think I'll go for 30 black ants. I thought you guys meant me. <laughs> JC says maybe it's better to just get more black ants instead of the upgrade black ants. Yeah, you might be right. So I'm just building more. Because I don't exactly know like what the upgrades do. I think it said like upgrade level three had better attack for black ants. Had plus three attack, I think. So if that's the case, it because every time your ants die, would well, cost food to re reproduce them. So in some level, you might just want them upgraded. But I definitely have more ants this time. And we'll just head up here. I'll keep the workers at the back just in case, you know, things get out of control. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. I'm really excited to see like what kind of ins whether kind of bugs will come up against. There's like ladybugs and stuff in here. It's just cool every everyday stuff. We got some food up there. Got my black ants. Like I'm sure there's like a praying mantis too. There are intruders I think in there's the nest. frogs. And there's different scenarios you can play, like different maps. I haven't tried that part yet. Okay, I think we're doing okay. So might just Predators go are and loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. So the, the upgrades cost 50, the same as building a new ant. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. a ton of food. It looks like they're getting bigger. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Hard to tell. So it said a level three black ant had like, I think, did more damage. So maybe I should be focusing on getting to level three. Oh, didn't do that.
Let's have 34 this time. Only had like a 28 last time. And I didn't use my workers to help out. Yeah, we'll just watch this. Because this is the last battle for that, and then we take on these guys. The other thing too is maybe I just, I should keep some food in stock to replenish these guys as they die. So maybe I didn't have any, any food left over last time. The workers back here. Yeah, but I have been food. It, it's like my backup supply. There are intruders in the nest. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, Ooh, it's and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The Devil's Coach Horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. So I'm gonna get that... broken down. It'd be really cool too is that if you would harvest your own dead ants, and bring them back to the nest for food. It just makes things like a little bit cooler. So I can afford to do one more upgrade. I'm gonna go for the higher level ones. Well, actually, I'll just do several because there's food up there. There we go. This game is pretty fun to play. Okay, here we go. It could be all over here again. Just waiting for the worker to come in. There are intruders in the nest. That food is draining. Oh, I still got 32 ants, so... Yeah, I think we got it. Oh yeah. Yeah, we did it. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. The Queen is safe. Okay, we did it. So, okay, so... Now I understand this a lot better. Like, we got a lot more food there. Over here we got a lot more space to build things. Get more of the bugs, of the ants grown. So I'm kind of leaning between these two. That's a lot of food. But even 1600 is a lot. And we get... I don't know. I'm really liking the plus 28 tiles I can mine. 
what do you guys think? Should I go for extra territory, extra food, or extra royal jelly? I'm not sure which one to choose. And uh, please give the video a like, guys, if you haven't. You're guessing for more food? Oh, you're the first one, so just go with uh, your choice. Okay, we'll end that level. I mean, you can't go wrong with food, so that's fine. So now Isn't I'm under- Is time already? Yes, our queen is insatiable. You don't know, D Douglas? Yeah, so the problem last time is that I had lots of food in the surface, but I didn't have it uh, gathered. So now we have tons of food. We can get some of those guys. And we have uh, 20 more tiles we can mine. And so that means I can get the black ant nest much bigger basically we get like 20 more black ants which would be massive unfortunately i made the food room so big i didn't know what i was doing Need more food. So I'm gonna get the black ants to do this area. So I don't know how long that, well, I think wasn't it the final test was 60, but it was a mixed uh, group of ants. Okay, so you say, well, it's good your food room is so big, you don't know how many more waves there were yeah Douglas says so the queen gets fat full while you do all the hard work <laughs> yeah that's how it goes well it'd be it's just great to have food here because I did on the last wave I ran out of food so now we have, we'll have so much food and so many more ants Going to keep mining these out. Let's go to the surface. So it shows you got your your food up there. That's that's handy. Let's get these guys go down there. Get that guy harvested. Let's look at the the gene thing. So now we can like. I think, I guess, level these guys. So it says, Melee attack in Formakai Fusca gains attack speed at level 3. So attack speed is awesome. Increase attack speed by 20%. Can upgrade black ant tiles to level 2. Okay, so that's how we unlock the upgrades. 
So that's probably worth it. Uh, where's our jelly? Yeah. That could be a big boost. Just max out these guys' levels. Because level 3 gives us attack speed, so... I think this is worth it. There's a ton of food up there. So you're probably right, Jake. Getting the extra food was the best. JC says, food upgrades, you can upgrade your food stores to help how many they'll save you on territory mind yeah yeah getting extra food was a good idea so 12 should be the last one I think yeah so so these guys will have the Increased melee attack speed. Okay, I'm just gonna... I think this area is done. And I don't want to use up all the food. Just want to max out these twelves. Okay, it shows right here, like, those little tiles. There's three tiles, okay. So I'm learning this game. Still lots of food up there. Okay, we're getting low on food up there. I do two more, I think. And there were some bugs up here I can get. Okay, let's try the second level. I felt like it was a really great defense to have all the guys up here. Okay, let's do it. So we'll stick with medium again, so it's, it'll be fun. So we get tons more food, 31 more tiles to mine, get some more upgrades. I I'm enjoying the- I time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Let's begin with a small threat. Connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. So they're coming through here, the red dots. I, I like the upgrade system in this game. They're not going to last. Okay, that was easy. The Raptors identified the threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Let's see how they handle a few more, shall we? Introducing 20 Formica Fusca ants. Not worried. What? 
I'll take those red bars off. Do you guys Our prefer the red bars on the threat to their queen? Good. Continue the experiment and let me know the results. Don't add more than 30 ants at once, though. We don't want to harm the queen. Understood. <laughs> she says don't add more than 30. But this guy doesn't listen. Hmm, I wonder how they will react to a rival Orepta colony. Introducing 40 rival Orepta ants. The scientist should be the last enemy that we gotta get. Excellent. I, I can do like one upgrade. Introducing a further 50 rival Oreptor ants. Or two. I want to see if we get food from those guys. Because the food keeps going up for some reason. Let's see if the food goes up after this battle. Fascinating. Now let's try 60 Raptor ants. 60. Yeah, the food's not going up, so we don't get any food from those ants. We definitely got this. Yeah, it's a cool, like, little bit of a, a de tower defense game. A superb response. See, they dropped the seeds, admirably, but I'm not Let gonna go for it this time. Lord, look to the surface. It's, it's not much, anyways. Hmm, what about a combination of a raptor and a fusca? Let's start with twenty of each. Conventional defense, yet highly effective. It's interesting to see the colony fight on two fronts. Perhaps well, we should try is. thirty of each. Magnificent! Once again, our raptors triumph. Yeah, I think they. It was said oh, that similar to Starcraft. For my succeeding raptors, gather them quickly. Hey, Thozy, welcome to the stream. Hit the like button, guys. Yeah, I'm. This is a fun game. What did the scientist guy say? Didn't pay attention. The 
colony's ability to withstand such overwhelming assaults is incredible. I wonder, how will they handle a sustained flow of aggressors? So our food is going down. Uh, Thosey, this game is still in early access. But they just had a recent update with a new tutorial and some new features. The more I play the game, the more I'm, I'm enjoying it, and Let's so far it's been good. Let's make a little more interesting, shall we? Enter the Devil's Coach Horse. Oh, what? These guys don't play fair. I'm doing unbelievably well. I didn't expect this. And my workers are just hanging back. Whoops! I seem to have dropped my beetles. I uh, hope they don't come on. on. It lands. I don't think I'll be able to get more food. JC. This guy's t attacking non-stop. But the food is dropping. <laughs> Man. These are full-grown beetles. I think they're beetles, right? Perhaps that's enough for now. Okay, we, we did it. Gotta finish off those guys. I think it was great that I upgraded these guys with the royal jelly. How has the colony been responding? They mounted an excellent defense against 20, 25, and even 30 Fusca ants, as you see. Even 30. <laughs> Perfect. Perhaps we can provide more of a challenge for them next time. What a fantastic suggestion. Yeah. They don't harvest dead ants, but they do harvest those other guys. Okay, so what do you say, guys? What do I go for? Extra territory, extra food, or extra royal jelly? I'm kind of thinking the royal jelly this time. Because that's 120. And I could upgrade some stuff with it. I'm voting for the Royal Jelly. Well, it's 33 plus 45. It's, I don't need that much more territory. Because either one is great. Well, I'll go for... No one's picking anything. So let's go for this one. Okay. Seeds have been dropped. Oh, we got. That's what we. Uh, oops! Don't get that. Let's see how the colony grows over the next few days. Now that they have experienced battle, I expect to see a significant rise in the number of soldiers. Oh, the cool thing is that. Oh, where did our, our level thing go? Yeah, because we can keep doing... Oh, self-repair. When out of combat, regenerate four extra health per second. I mean, that seems amazing. Because I noticed that none of them regenerate. I mean, attack speed's great, but... You know, if they don't regenerate, some of them are just going to die so quickly. But a wood ant, that might... Man, I'd love to get one of those. Oh, and I think, yeah, like wood ants, they spit acid or something. Yeah. So wood ants would be really cool. 
Maybe I'll just save the royal jelly, see what the next level is like. Yeah, we can uh, harvest those. So let's just do some upgrades, use some of that food up. Oops, want that. There, they're gonna harvest all that stuff and get the food from the surface. And I don't think we need to really do much. Oh, I should upgrade all of the food storage tiles. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade the food stores. It's only five food to upgrade and it adds a lot more space, it seems like. JC says I'd probably end up going for Berserkers Warcraft 2 reference. I don't remember that. So it's 560, I'll upgrade this to level two and we'll see what it does. So that's good, was that 40, was 60? I mean, it was uh, 30. So that's good. Oh, Berserkers regenerate, okay. Yeah, like, the regeneration upgrade seems awesome. So these are all... I can do two more. So maybe it was good making this big room. Because the more we kind of store it up down here, you know, we can keep replenishing the guys that die. And we got tons of food. I'm just wondering why we can't do the next level. That thing's gone. Yeah, I took that challenge. Now you've completed both missions in, on this tier, you can play them in challenge mode. This will provide additional rewards but levels, but the levels will have a twist. Select challenge mode from the level setup dialog. So I wonder if we keep going with this. Your ants. Oh, there we go. Now we can choose. So, yeah, this is all unlocked now. Yes, that's really cool. Rehouse the colony. This looks like it's outside or something. Yeah, it's just quite a bit left to the game. Just with this, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a story mode. Should I, should I keep going, guys, or take us or end the video here? I wouldn't mind just trying out a new one. Like there's ladybugs in this one. These beetles look tough. Grinding is probably the answer though. But it's kind of probably boring for people to watch the same mission being played twice. So how about we just try one more? 
I just do medium. The beach provides a feast for those brave enough to venture there, but sunset brings new danger. Oh, can we not do it? Oh, we have to choose. So rapid fire. So mortar, a slow fire wood ant that deals high damage on impact. Level three, it gains area damage. Or you get a fast fire wood ant that deals low damage on impact. A level three slows enemies it hits. I think area damage would be cool if it doesn't affect our guys. So we'll go to medium. We'll select this guy. So the rewards are kind of modest. I'll just do one more. But these are... This are... Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. So this is the melee guy. I'm assuming this guy's ranged. Yeah, there's a little like uh, ranged symbol right there. Looks like it's a little small to see. So what does this say? Wood ants can build workers and two types of soldier. One soldier is a melee fighter, and the other is a ranged attacker that fires acid from his abdomen. For the ranged attackers, you can choose between a slow firing rate with high damage or a fast firing rate with low damage. So they take like 10 more food to build. Oh, so just five food to hatch. So when these ants die, it's not a big deal. So let's just look at the map for a bit. I guess we'll come up here. But who knows, there could be hidden stuff and hidden enemies up around there. Those look quite big, it's exclamation marks. That might be a bad idea. But I think I'll make the nest right here. And we'll need some melee first. Man, don't I have any food nearby? Wow, that's crazy. How are we supposed to do that? Oh, I guess they just found some food. We'll definitely need to... I'm not sure where they got it from. Oh, there's food right there. So these little, like, uh... These little things right there, I guess it's food. Or there's some food as well. Put the range down here. Oh, man, Predators was... are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh, we can uh, deal with these guys. I think so. Let's put their uh, creature info, Let's see what hit points they have.
Yeah, we got it. We got some more food. Get them to get the food. And up here I'll get some workers. There is food to be found all over the beach, but the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. So this is the Tiger beach. beetles frequent the higher ground, and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. Oh, we can go up, up right there. So I wonder if we should wait to open that, if things might come down. So that's just the ability they get. The tide brings a wealth of food from the sea, but it will not be accessible forever. Collecting resources closer to the sea with first means it will not get washed out when the tide rises. So let's just do this as if we die, who cares? Let's just check stuff out. I'd like to see what's up here as well. So we've unlocked the beach. So there's a beetle. This is where we, our nest exit. Oh, and some other ants. Okay, so that's cool. head down there to get those guys. I don't know how big they are though. We'll get some ranged tide rises. I wonder if like the tide, the tide is the coming food. in. Soon oh, the lower goodness. levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. So we might be wiped here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to survive this. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Yeah, it's game over. But okay, the tide has come up. But there's still food here. And that's just still rising. So that's a that's a really good the extra ants layer. Must protect the queen. And I guess when the ride when the tide rises, it'll wipe out your ants up there. Yeah, it's game over, but at least we tried it out, see what it looks like. I think this is a fun game. The ants must protect the queen. So the water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. I'm assuming it comes up to there. The queen has been slain. Her Anyways. choice of nest site was over ambitious, and ultimately led her colony to extinction. Oh, poor queen. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I think I'll play more of this. I might do, uh, you know, a, a new playthrough. Do some episodes on it. 
maybe some more uh, live streams just for fun. Try with some of the the custom maps or something. Yeah, take care, JC. See you, Douglas and Thozy. Yeah, the the beginning's a little bit slow, like kind of like most games though, because they want to kind of teach you a bit. <laughs> 